Good morning from Kwantan on the eastern peninsula of Malaysia. We have gotten our coffee and we have gotten cleaned up and we're ready to go to the center of the city and we're going to find out today why Kwantan is considered one of Malaysia's most popular beach town destinations. Let's go. Okay, we're just waiting on our grab taxi to come pick us up the condo. We're going to hop inside and we're going to go to the center of Kwantan because it's that time again. We have to take care of some chores first, and then maybe we can get finished in time to have some beach time after we're done. These are videos of soon. They'll start probably sometime in August. Another Malaysia barbershop visit was a success. This is actually my third barbershop visit in Malaysia. The previous two did not make the list, but they've all been great. It's very interesting to see the different barbering styles as we move across the world because I've not had one barber yet that has done the same process for shaving my head. So yeah, I'll continue to include that in these videos for all you male viewers that are curious about barbering styles across the globe because they are very different. And as always, the price for this uh, barbershop visit was only 25 Malaysian ringgits, which I guess is about seven or eight dollars USD. Trying to find another nail studio slash spa. We were unsuccessful with attempt number one, so it started to rain again. So we're coming over here to the uh, local shopping mall, and maybe Ronnie will have more luck at finding a nail Hello. studio inside the mall. Okay, we were successful finding Ronnie a nail salon. Now, we're gonna try to go get some food because we uh, somehow skipped lunch. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll get some food and have some time to go to the beach and maybe the overcast weather is finished for the day and maybe the rain has went away. stopped at this little uh, popular chicken rice place. We're gonna try their roasted chicken and their honey barbecue chicken with some other side Hyannese dishes. We'll see if this uh, satisfies us. <laughs>
did make it back to uh, Quantan Beach in time for the sunset, but we've been battling overcast and cloudy and rainy skies all day. So I don't think there's gonna be very much of a sunset. Most of the people that come to Quantan Beach seem to rent ATVs or horseback rides and that's pretty much it. Sand is uh, clean, but not very fluffy. It's kind of a hard sand. And we uh, have ran out of options here, I think, for things that there are to do. So I think we're gonna look around for some fresh seafood. See what we find. Okay, we're gonna skip the uh, cloudy and I think rainy sunset. Ah, that's so dark. We have dark clouds coming in. So we did spot this uh, local seafood joint close to the condo. So we're gonna try to hustle across this big road and find some uh, fresh seafood. So we've stopped here at our local uh, seafood wah room. It's roadside, so there's plenty of uh, motorbike traffic and cars whizzing by us as we're sitting here eating. We're also waiting for an impending storm coming through. It's not rainy season here in Kwantan, we've been told by locals, but we've had incredible luck this week. It's probably rained five out of the seven days that we've been here. And there's another storm coming right now, so we're hoping that we can finish our seafood before the monsoon begins. Good morning from Quantan. We survived the monsoon last night. We couldn't show you us trying to swim across the street because we were protecting the camera and all our gear as we ran across the busy road last night. We feel like we did not see the best of Quantan because we've been here all week and it has been crazy rainy and cloudy. And the locals say it's not rainy season, but that's what we experienced all week. So please, if you have places that we should visit in Quantan, drop those messages in the comments of this video. Maybe we'll find ourselves back here again one day and we'll be sure to check those places out. But it's another travel day for us, so we're going back to the airport because we have a morning flight back to Kuala Lumpur. And of course, we're taking you along for the journey. So let's get some coffee, let's go. awake <laughs> we're here only two hours before the flight but security and the check-in desk is not open yet so we're just gonna stand here like good tourists yeah wait for someone to turn on the machine turn on the lights <laughs> Okay, we're on the tarmac here, walking out to our Boeing 737-800. We seem to always fly these jets in Asia. 
I guess everybody has the Boeing 737-800. Now we're gonna find our seats and get back to Kuala Lumpur. Back at KLIA in Kuala Lumpur. Uh -huh. Our flight on the Boeing 737 was uneventful, which is always good. And now we are trying to stay awake so we can go to baggage claim and get a grab taxi. And then, hopefully, an uneventful one hour trip to the hotel <laughs> and some lunch. finally made it to our hotel here in Kuala Lumpur. It has been a strange couple of days for us. The weather in Kwantan and then traveling from Kwantan back to Kuala Lumpur has made it a very busy couple of days and we are tired and we have to get in bed pretty early tonight because we have another travel adventure planned for tomorrow. And we'll show you that in the next vlog. But if you enjoyed moving around Kwantan with us and then moving from Kwantan back to Kuala Lumpur on a travel day, we hope you will smash that like button and share it with everyone you know. And if you enjoy traveling around the world with us, we hope you will subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell so you're the first to know when we upload new videos every Sunday and Wednesday. But remember, you don't have to be a Kentuckian to travel with us. You just gotta have fun. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on keeping on. Cheers. Cheers.